Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you the latest method to jailbreak your passcode or disable iPhone that's supported with a check range jailbreak. I will show you the complete steps like how you can do that. And this method is only for the personal use, those who want to jailbreak their own passcode or disabled device. I will list all the supported iPhones, iPad or iPod touch model with a supported iOS version. So let me just go to my computer screen and start this process. Now this method is only works for the Mac operating system or if you are a Windows user, you can try to install the Hackintosh on your system and then you can proceed. First we need to jailbreak our device in the CheckRain CLI mode. So for that, you just need to go to the CheckRain content folder, drag and drop the CheckRain file onto a terminal. After that give space and type dash C or a hyphen C. Now you need to just hit on enter and it will run the check ring in the CLI mode. So to jailbreak that, first you need to put your device into the DFU mode to proceed to the jailbreak. Now the DFU button combination might be different for your model. So you can check on the internet, you will get the right button combination as per device. So first I will put my device into the recovery mode and then I will put into the DFU mode that is more easy. So now you can see my device into the recovery mode and you can get on this screen now you can safely put your device into dfu mode so i have a iphone 6s for this the dfu button combination is press the home button and the power button for the 10 second and then release the power button but keep pressing the home button for the next 8 to 9 seconds more and then your device will into the dfu mode now after the dfu mode you can press on enter on the terminal and you will see the check run is start jailbreaking your device but at the time of booting you need to put your device into the diagnostic mode so you have to press the button combination of the diagnostic mode as well so i will display the button combination of the diagnostic mode on the screen for your help so you can check that and make sure that you need to be very quick to put your device into the diagnostic mode at the time of booting on the terminal so now you can see we have seen the all done on the terminal and the jailbreak is done. Now next we need a USB patcher to patch the restriction on the diagnostic mode so that we can jailbreak our device normally next time after the patch. So this patch only works for the iPhone 6s, 6s plus, iPhone 7, 7 plus, iPhone SE first generation, iOS 12, iOS 13, iOS 14 to the 14.8.1 these are the supported ios version and the devices and for the ipad a10 chips to the lower chipset are supported but for the a11 device like iphone 8 8 plus and iphone x it will not support for that there are different methods i will make another video on that so after the installation of the usb patcher you can open it and select the usb patch and then click on patch and first you need to register your serial number it will show your serial number is not authorized so copy the serial number next for registration you need to contact me just go to my blog or check the description link you will get this social media platform link where all my social media handles are there you can contact me on telegram instagram facebook twitter and send me the serial number for the registration i will show you the price on the screen so you can check that after you registered your device, you need to click on the patch button and it will patch your device. Now the device is successfully patched and you can see the patch is done and make sure that you have done all done on the check screen, screen on the diagnostic mode then only patch will work. Now next the patch is done now you need to just simply run the check ring again in the CLI mode and this time you don't need to patch again or put your device into the diagnostic mode your jailbreak will be work fine normally so I will directly put my device into the DFU mode again and then start the jailbreak. Now the device is in the DFU mode, now click on enter and now you can see that the jailbreak has been started so wait for it to get complete.
So now you can see on the screen we have successfully jailbreak our device on the passcode or a disabled screen with the help of USB patcher. Now you can do the passcode bypass and make your backup very easily as the jailbreak is done. So that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one. So till then goodbye, take care and peace out.